So I'm gonna talk about why it's important to have an idea, a business idea that is ready for the market. So about three years ago, three years ago, I had an idea for a business. So I was deep into content creation, into filmmaking, and there were a lot of elderly people, a lot of older people who had some incredible stories. I realized with my personal connection and love to family history and my own personal family and how important that was to me learning about their stories from past generations, uh, I quickly began to be like, we don't do enough of capturing today's stories in video form. So much of the genealogy and family history industry is about recording your history, which is great, but in written form or in audio form, a lot of the older generations are the ones who are spearheading these efforts, not realizing that the tools to record and capture through video are so easily accessible. And then on top of that, you can hire someone like me I was thinking at that time to produce a quality video that captures your life story, your legacy, and a bunch of really personal stories that you can share with your family now, but especially future generations too. So I was really passionate about this idea. I put a lot of brainstorming into it, a lot of strategy. I told lots of people about it. I was getting different opinions from those who were also content creators and they're like, yes, do it. I support that, I wanna be involved. And then I talked to my brother and he's a businessman. He's like, test the market first. It doesn't seem like a viable product or service that people will be willing to pay for. And he said, then prove me wrong. I was getting all this conflicting feedback, but because I was so passionate about the idea, I just wanted to jump in and experiment. And so, I started doing a series of things. I first started with my grandparents to get some content um, as a foundation to the business. I gave it a name of Time Capsule Creative. I got a domain name. I opened up an LLC without any cash flow. And I began sourcing all these different ideas, marketing myself to local community, trying to figure out how best I can fit. I was even marketing myself and getting integrated with genealogy groups, family history groups, local networking groups to promote this idea of time capsule creative. But very quickly, that feedback of, I don't know if the market's ready for it, started coming back to me and I realized that the market was not ready for this idea of capturing legacy videos. Don't get me wrong, there is a very specific niche market that exists in different pockets in the country and all, all over the world, but the efforts to really pinpoint that market that is just barely eking by in, in regards to video behind family history, um, it just didn't make sense to me that the product I'm still interested in, but the efforts to just to get people to willing to afford and pay for it. And so as a consumer, they don't have the budget set aside to market or do these things for their family unless they're incredibly passionate about it. But even then, they don't see video as the top priority. It's usually just getting recorded in general. And then I reverted back to, well, it's not about the money, right? I'm passionate about it, so they should be passion projects. But to make a licensed business viable, you need cash flow to actually keep running. Good thing. I, there was really no investment up front. It was an easy business to start and it was a big learning process, but ultimately I was throwing an idea into the market that wasn't ready for that idea. I hadn't validated that idea, I hadn't gotten it ready. Yeah, these videos back here are some of the videos I produce for it and they look good, I'm very proud of them and I'm still passionate about the product, but the market's not ready for it and so I had to pivot multiple times until eventually I just canceled the LLC. With all the friends and business partners I collaborated with, I honestly told them that I'm gonna keep the domain, I'm gonna keep the concept, I love it, but I'm gonna shelf it for a while and maybe revisit it in the future. 
and focus on other things um, that are more viable, that are actually solving a big problem that exists that people are actually experiencing now. So that's what leads me to today in announcing a new business that I'm developing called Content Supply. So the concept around Content Supply is that you as a brand get supplied content on a monthly basis for the growth of your brand to maximize profits, to become more a viable business and to make sure that you are seen because the world we live in now, to be a relevant brand or business is you need content. In that content sits your story. I'll be sharing more about this concept about this business over time. I'm already testing the market with a couple of incredible clients right now. And I'll be sharing more of my processes and ideas behind that as this whole thing develops. So I do a video every week. I share it on my Facebook, my YouTube channel and Instagram. So make sure to subscribe, like my page, ask questions, and I'm hoping that I provide value in the process.